Okay, so let's create our first Unity game. And uh, I'm a senior developer, so I know a lot of programming and I've coded in a lot of languages, everything from embedded to IoT, web, uh, Android, iOS and whatnot. But I, what one thing that I've not done is game programming. So let's fire up, download Unity and create a 3D Universal Render Pipe URP project. I'll name it Skiing. And the idea here is basically to learn Unity by doing. And I don't know anything. But let's try it out. So create the project. It's firing up. Uh, I am using the Apple Silicon version of Unity since I'm running Mac. And uh, yeah, I haven't run it before, so I hope it's stable enough. But I think it should be. Why not? It's, I think, over one year or something that they have had a beta on the Apple Silicon version of Unity. So there should be no problem. So it's taking a while and let's see where did it go. Well, <laughs> that's a good start. Where's my unity? <laughs> I was just saying how... Could this be due to the Apple Silicon version? Where is the app? Uh, it says it's already... Project is already open. Okay, so where is it? Got it. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so that's a bad start. Let's uh, try again. So I force closed a Unity and I'm starting it up again. And let's see what happens. Okay. So now something in it happening okay great Whew. okay first step let's uh, here are our scenes here's a sample scene press enter let's call it collisions now we need some sort of plane for the ground so I don't know how to navigate the unity interface so I'm just using the help and writing a plane 3d object plane yes that's what we want and here's the plane okay so how do I move okay so center press on the mouse will grab and move around and this is the eye with the right click click it now we need to make it a slope how do I make it a slope that's moving it so I need to uh, First of all, I would want it to be a bit longer. So I need some form of, uh, um, let's see here, scale perhaps. What does the scaling do? What I just realized that my, I was recording and the recording died. I don't know why it died. Uh, perhaps my, because I have a touch bar on my, uh, on my uh, Mac. And I think perhaps that my little finger went and touched that stop button here, of course. So, ah, uh, pretty bad, I guess. So we're back here to where we are. Um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, so what happened is that <laughs> I managed to create the slope or the plane. I put the the coordinates x35 y0 z0 scale x2 y1 and z15 i created the from a cube and a sphere i created a a player uh, 
that's a player where is it so that's a player um, and the coordinates for the player I created a empty object I named him player then I added a cube and a sphere and the cube and a the sphere they are uh, and this is the coordinates for the player uh, as you can see x minus 1 9 y uh, 2.87 and z minus 1.6 and uh, I created another cube copying the coordinates and moving it a bit along the the z line the z line and uh, I raised the y scale to 7 like 7 meters so that's our tree and th that's when the recording stopped so now we have a player and now what then I realized we need a camera so by searching camera I found a camera and I added it to the player so the player has a camera but the pl the camera is really really off so uh, we need to uh, see here where is the camera we need to position the camera somewhere well as usual I I'm going to do it the lazy way copy X I copy Y Oh my god. Papa. That was my daughter who threw, threw all the papers on the ground. Okay, so here's the camera uh, like that. Now, where is. Ooh, here's the camera. Okay, so the camera, we need to rotate it a little bit. A little bit. Not upstairs. Down. Whoa. Sick. So, perhaps move it a bit. Uh, what's this? No, 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 not the Z. We knew, need to move it. Uh, not that way, neither. What's the, oh, that's the, rota uh, the position we need. That's up, down. Move it back. And we want it a bit above the player. I don't even know what this is doing. No, not like that. The X. Oh, this is the X. So, like that. Perhaps move it a bit up. A bit up like that and look down. So the rotation should be a bit... Not the Y. No, the X. Like that, perhaps. So you see what you're doing. Something like that seems pretty cool. So now we have Big Head. Big Head has a camera. Uh, the slope has a tree. So we need to move the player. The next step. So uh, he needs to be affected by gravity. In order for it to be affected by gravity. We need to... Add a collider, I think it's called. Let's see here. Collider. Sphere collider. Capsule collider. Box collider. Hmm. Could it be a box collider? What happens? Ah. The player has a box collider. Great. So, the material is non physics. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And we need a rigid body, because you need a body to have gravity. Rigid body. So I I see that a lot of things are here in the game object. But I think help is so much faster to find stuff. Okay, so we have a rigid body. We have a mass of 1, drag 0, angular drag... Uh, I don't even know what all of these mean. But sure. And then uh, uh, let's see here. We need uh, what's this? Hmm. 
constraints. What's the constraints? Freeze position. X one. Freeze rotation. Uh, if we don't have freeze, okay, position is one thing, but rotation. I I I guess we will f fall over if we don't freeze the rotation. Uh, so I'm guessing I don't know which ones we need, but let's pull all all of them. And we need uh, friction, some sort of friction. Uh, um, so in order to create a, f how do we do that? We need some. Hmm, is there? A, let's see here. Hmm. Is it a plane that needs a rendering properties? Uh, I can't find anything. Let's do it with... Ah, look. Create physics. Where is it? Oh, there's a create button. Okay. What happens? So, it went down. Let's call it... Uh, I don't know what to call it. Ground, perhaps? Where is the ground? Okay, so we have... Uh, s some I don't know what that is static fiction I don't know what that is uh, now it has fiction will it I don't know what this means static I think it's the main let's do it like this and uh, we need this ground uh, or this friction or this material let's Pull it to. Uh, so this is our asset, but how do I add it to the player? Does it have it? I don't know. Uh, we need to apply it to the. Where is the scene? How do we apply? Okay, but how do I add this to our plane? Why isn't why is the scene called collisions? Anyhow, how do I add this? Uh, I don't know. Let's. Let's Google it. Where's my Google window? Okay. So let's Google uh, apply scene unity. Unity. Apply scene to game object. Uh, to select scene. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. That's code. We haven't coded yet. No, not add scene. Oh, what was it? It was a, uh, it was a material, right? Uh, we created a physics add material to game object. Uh, create an object. We have an object. Oh, I hate when they have tutorials that need to create. Okay. Don't tell us everything, just tell us how to apply the material. The material is displayed. Okay, so this is our material. Now what? We need to select the material. Blah, 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 blah. Drag and drop it in the cube. Well, I'm dragging. Oh, this is physics material. Perhaps that's the reason. Uh, okay. Add physics material to game object hmm try this one try this one okay 
when you select the object to collide, there should be an empty slot right next to collide open. It should say match, right? Okay. Uh, material, why can't I find you? Find you, find you. And this is uh, the art of doing. Oh, but nothing happens. Okay, let's try the tree. Can the tree take it? Ah, there is the material. Did you see? Okay, can we? Here's the play. We have the material ground. Oh, and the plane has the ground. Oh, so we have added it. I didn't even understand how. But there is the ground. So everything has ground. Okay. Uh, and we need to... The next step is basically to add the player controls in order to move. What happens when we press play? Just for the fun of it. Nothing happens. Hello. Okay, so nothing happens. Okay. Let's start with moving the player and let, let's see what we can have. We need a player control. Uh, we need a player control. Add components. Director. Video player. Player, new script, player controller, play controller. So where did it go? Where's my script? Where's my script? Hello, player, wait, is it in my assets? No. Where did it go? Add component, player controller, new script, oh, of course, no space, create an ad, so that should be the name of the file, okay, so there you have the player controller, created it, okay, now what, let's, let's code, here's the code, and so we need, I'm going to be honest here, let's just copy and paste some code. So let's Google, Google, um, Google it. Uh, where's the, oh yeah, let's see here. Unity player movement 3D script. Uh, okay, blah blah blah. There's some da 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 da. da. Ooh. So there's some code. Blah blah blah. Okay, so let me. I have a code here. Let's see here. Um, my player component. Uh, there's a script, and we need to fixed update. Call six. Oh, this is frames per second. Uh, uh, everybody. Okay. Play. So, and we need a script for the For the tree, we need a script. For the tree, we need a script. For the tree, we need a script. For the tree, new script. Uh, tree, tree. Let's call it tree. Uh, 
Where's my tree? Here's the tree. Uh, oh, okay. So we have the tree now. And the tree... Uh, on collision enter. Something needs to happen when we collide. So... I'm cutting and pasting some code here. We need a public color hit color. I've uh, pre googled this for. Okay, now uh, material color, I can hit color. So when you hit the tree, the colors should change. Uh, okay, save it. Now, where's our tree? There's a tree. Uh, tree script. Where's the tree script? Mm, there's a tree. And now we have a hit color parameter. And we need to select a hit color. What hit color should we have for the tree? Red? Red is the best. That's a bloody color. Okay. Uh, okay. So we have... Okay. Let's see if we can play it now. Uh, you must exit play mode to save the screen. How do I exit play mode? I don't even know. Okay. I don't want to be inside here. Uh, did I exit? So, oh, five minutes of debugging and we were back. And I realized that when I was clicking around that the ground has dynamic friction 0 0.6. And we don't want that. We don't want any friction. So, let's play it. Play. And we're rolling down the slope. We're rolling down the slope. Let's move the tree a bit further down. So, uh, where's the tree scale? Position. No, not X, Z, like that, and put it down. Okay, so now we have a tree, but our, our, um, what's it called? Our player control is not working. So, the player has material, it has everything, where is the... Where is the player control? Shouldn't this be attached to the player? Player control. There is a none rigid body. Why doesn't it have a rigid body? Move force. What's this? Now attach the 
I thought I'd done that. Nothing is happening. Oh. Uh, so why don't we have a rigged body? We have a. We need to investigate why we don't have a rigged body. Let's see here. Uh, we have a player script, script player controller, and we need to see here. Where is the code? Let's look at the code again. Uh, yeah, so we have the horizontal input at force based on our input. Okay, great. So why is not our tree moving? Hmm. Why is not our player moving? So he has a ground mass. It is as if he doesn't have a rigged body, but he does have a rigged body. Uh, what's this? Select rigged body. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you think it will work now? Let's try it out. Now it has a rigged body. But it's not moving. No move. Move force. Should we give it a move, f move force? What does that even mean? I don't know. Let's try again. I don't think it should have a move force because that's what we're applying when we're pressing the buttons. Wait, it is moving. But very, very softly. It's as if... Let's give it... So it is moving, okay. Something is happening. Is it... Was it this parameter that I'm... Yeah. Yes. Oh, so now we're applying move force. Woohoo! But our slope is really, really small. Where is our slope? The plane. We need a... B b much longer... Pl or... Let's move... Let's move the player upstairs. Ow. Ow. Up to the top. Up to the top, up to the top like that, and then we can, okay, and let's even make a game drop, so let's see if we can drop down, that would have been cool, will that happen now, and he's falling down, and he's running the slope, ah! <laughs> oh, and we need to try one more thing, we added collision, remember, let's see if it will become red when he hits the the um, tree oh it's uh, <laughs> it didn't turn red uh, there's a tree uh, where's the tree code we don't have the tree code that's the reason let's drag it now it has a tree hit color didn't we do this let's give it some red nice red color like that no red Oh, I can see why. The opacity is zero. So we need... Red. Close. Why is it stupid? It keeps turning... The opacity, the alpha, it's not, so, why can't we just, well, it, it's really, oh, now it's red, okay, so there was, it was bugging, the interface, ah, oh, I missed it, <laughs> one more time, <laughs> come on, I need to hit this tree, it's, f ah, ah, not again, <laughs> Uh, 
so come on hit it hit it hit it oh my god uh, uh, this is hard perhaps this should be the game hit the tree skiing <laughs> uh no red why no red Uh, select mesh render. Oh, so the mesh render is the tree. I think. Let's try it again. But the hard part here is to actually hit the tree. So, uh, no red. Why no red? Wait. Ah, I know. You can't edit this stuff when. Uh, you are in the game mode. So, for example, now I selected three, right? But it didn't update. That's why the red color. I think, for example, if we press it some more red now, like that. Click, it will be saved. Oh, okay. So it's not a bug in the interface. It's just the UX is bad because you don't understand as a user what's happening. Anyhow, let's try it again. So we have a three. We have a hit color, we just need to hit the tree. Hit the tree, hit the tree! Uh, yes! And it turned red. So, now we have game control. We have a red hit. We just need to solve one more thing because I'm... And then we will end the first, this tutorial. Basically, what's a bit sad here is that they are all gray. We don't want gray. We want some cool color, so let's add some create material, and let's make some materials. Yeah, every one of them needs some color. Metallic, or blah blah blah. What? Skiing has white color, right? So let's make it some snowy white. Okay, uh, and let's name it snow, and let's add it to. Oh yeah, and we have snow, and there's the tree. And the tree also needs some material. Create, create material. Let's call it uh, tree body. Tree body because a tree. And then let's what color? We need some brownish brown. Where is the brown? Brown. Orange. My son says orange. Let's make it an orange tree. Like, like that. Okay. Tree body. Add it to the tree. And let's, Mr. Big Head here, what color do we want on his stomach? Blue. Blue. Okay. Material. So, uh, player. Belly. Belly. Player belly. Blue. Let's make him blue. Blue. And let the head. Green. Create material. Player head. Where's the player? Let's make him green. Green. Boom. Bam. Now we have a cool guy what's this mask i don't even know what this is and we need some more trees uh, copy paste uh, paste 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 ten trees so let's move them around a bit let's put the tree here let's put another tree like here, perhaps a bit like here. Let's put another, tree. and I guess you can randomize this and use code for it because that will be a lot, uh, much better. Stones, my son is telling me we need to add some stones. I think that's a great idea actually. So, uh, let's add eh, trees like that and tell you what let's delete all of these and make a stone 
ديليت كريدي اوبجكت سفير كابسول سيليندر كيوب سفير برابس سفير ستون وير از ذا ستون اند ليتس جيف ات ذا سيم كوردينيتس وير از ذا ستون ستوني ستون واي زد ستون بوت ات هير اند جست ليتس جست موف ات ا بيت لايك ذات اند بوت ات اب سو ذير وي هاف ا ستون وي جست نيد تو سكيل هيم سكيل هيم سكيل هيم از لوكينج ا بيت سترينج ناو بات ستونز ار ا بيت سترينج لايك ذات از ات جود اند ات هاز ويل ات هاز ا pretty cool color i think let's make it like that and i have an idea let's make it like a ramp that would have been cool instead of a stone uh, i don't know do you need to apply some uh, material well, let's look at it through. we have the box collider and let's add a sphere collider what happens if material yeah we need to add the ground for it so it has a material so like this let's also add a plane and i don't i don't even know what will happen now but for the fun of it let's do it Yeah, that's the idea. We are going to create a ramp, and I don't even know if this will work because I've never made. A uh, oh, no, no, wrong. Uh, is it X? Yeah. So make it a ramp like that. So we have some sort of, and this also. What happens? Let's just let's just play it. Let's go on the ramp. Ah! <laughs> okay. It almost worked. Yeah, so let's go out of it. Ah! So we have a simple skiing game. But we would want this to... Let's see here. We would want it to jump, yes. And perhaps it's a bit... here we need to rotate it that does nothing that we would want oh where's the rotation there it is no wrong way the z way wrong way the x way yes so make it like that <laughs> I missed it one more time. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Ah. We would want some sort of boost, but I don't know how to make a boost. So let's just rotate the X a bit more like that and okay, now the stone is in the way. What will happen if we hit the stone? Let's move the stone. So I'm thinking either you hit the ramp or you get smashed by the stone. Yeah. Smash, smash. Can you also then take not some roller near back on then back on? Oh, my son says add the stone behind you. Uh, <laughs> the stone seems to have no Yeah, so the the he has a rigid body with a mass and a drag. Doesn't the stone have a rigid body? Oh, that's the problem. You need a rigid body for the stone with gravity. It doesn't have it. So let's 
at rigid body with gravity. So what happens now? Yeah, the stone is also falling down. <laughs> and there's it. <laughs> okay, let's let's put the. My son says, put the. Well, yes, yes. Wait. So we need to put him behind. And also, I, he should he should be a bit. Uh, a bit. Spherish like that, and oh no, we moved. We moved Big Head's belly. We need to move all now. Hello, <sighs> position put him in front of uh, like that, and a bit in front and down, Ooh, like that. So the thing is that he will smash you. We need to add some, but I'm still not fixing this. I would have wanted to somehow. Let's see what happens now. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. We need to fix the camera. Uh, because this. Where's the camera? Yeah. The stone is in the way of the camera. We can have that camera. Let's move it a bit up like that. And actually, you know what? Let's move the. Can we stand that hella vein? So, why am I not coming? Stand that now, little bit. Wait, let me just select. Uh, move him like that and down. And if we can make this a bit longer as well. Uh, yes, thank you. Much longer, so we can have the stone. Moving up. Like that. Okay, yes, so let's move him up. Like that. And down. Now what happens? Uh, Woohoo! Ramping is... Yes! <laughs> yes! And we won. And there you have the basic setup of a skiing game. So you can do a lot of fun stuff now. But let's end the tutorial here. And I hope you had fun guys. Uh, any comments on how to develop this game? For example... Instead of trees, you can have zombies, then it will be a zombies skin game. Or you can change the sphere that is hunting you. The ball here, it could be like a Bigfoot or some monster. Uh, you can add some uh, like ramps and you can have multiple things multiplayer. chasing you. And even you can have multiplayer, yeah, that's a good idea. So if you have any ideas, uh, smash the comment, smash the hit, the like or dislike, whatever. Leave me a comment. This was the first time I made a Unity game. I haven't done this before, so it was a bit of googling. But we're roughly 40 minutes later. You have the basic setup of a game with some copied code. Because I don't know the infrastructure of uh, Unity coding. But probably you don't neither. But you can see how easy it is to set up a game. Thank you. Over and out.